you why are all the tags getting in my way today it's from now how did i forget that i had a whole other box of stuff hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm back with an asos haul and once again it's quite a big one we could be here for a while you might want to drink some snacks i personally um have some water down here and also a little call in the caterpillar cake jar just in case i get hungry because i know we're going to be here for a while if i show you the vases quickly let me pop them down i have this giant one here and then i have these two as well and i've now got my hair stuck in my lipstick i do also have a little birch parcel down here as well because um i ordered some bits from there so i thought i'd chuck it into this haul as well so yeah it's going to be a long one we could be here for a while but it's going to be a good one because i've got some really good bits in this haul and um, everything will be linked down below as always i'm just gonna you know adjust that so will my instagram um and it'll be a trying haul as always which is what i always seem to say without me blabbering on anymore like i said we're gonna be here for a while so let's get on with it I'm gonna get on with the ASOS haul. Okay, so first off, we all know that Sisters and Seekers is one of my favourite brands. I'm obsessed with them. I love them. This t-shirt is actually from there. And they've recently now been stocked on ASOS, which means you can buy a few of their bits over on there. Um, which is quite handy because I just find it's a little bit easier to do that on ASOS because they have free returns, whereas Sisters and Seekers don't, and little things like that. Um, so off there I picked this up because when I last ordered off Sisters and Seekers, this was actually out of stock. Um, but it was in stock on ASOS, obviously. So this is the hoodie. What a ramble. What a ramble, what a way to start the video. Um so so I have this hoodie, it's like a charcoal sort of grey colour and it's like a fleecy sort of material, it's quite hard to explain. Um, the only thing with this is, I don't know how well it's going to wash because normally this type of fleecy material you have on like the inside of a jumper and after a while it goes a bit bobbly. Um, but I just thought it was so nice, it's got these like black um, sort of cord um, drawstrings and then it has a little rubber Sisters and Seekers logo there, little pocket and hood, pretty basic hoodie and then I did also buy the matching joggers which look like this so they're the same material, same colour, um, I just felt like I had to order something off Sisters and Seekers when they were stocked on ASOS because I was just so obsessed and like I said I hadn't ordered this before so I got this and then the joggers I got in a 6 and the hoodie I got in a size 8. Then I got this top which is from 4th and Reckless, if you haven't seen already I've done a whole haul dedicated to things from that brand because I'm obsessed with it so I'll link it down below. Um, but this is where it all started, I saw it on ASOS like this brand and then I went over on their website and bought more. Um, but this is the whole, this is the whole reason this top here is what made me like discover 4th and Reckless. So it's this little ribbed white sort of halter neck top but I don't know how well you can see this but it's got this like cup sort of wiring detail here so like round your boobs kind of how you'd have a white and a bra it's got it on the top and i just thought it's a little bit different put this on with some jeans and you could go out for drinks like it's so easy to chuck on but you could also dress it down wear it day to day and stuff it's such a soft material as well like it's such good quality and like i said it's just like a little ribbed white material so yeah i absolutely love this this is what made me fall in love with fourth and reckless um and this was actually in the sale i think it was like 24 pound which is such a good price it's a lovely little top and that i got in a size six and then i did also buy this bodysuit off there which again i think was in the sale but they didn't have it in any smaller size than a size 10 so um i've just got it i'm hoping that it's going to fit so again it's ribbed and it's like a white material um let me just get this the right way up so it looks like this it's very very basic but this does look very very big as well i don't think this is going to fit me unfortunately but it's like a slightly high neck sort of raw hem high neck bodysuit and then it just goes down like that it's a thong bodysuit and it's a popper one which we love because you don't have vpl and it makes it easier to go to the toilet however like i said i think unfortunately this is going to be too big for me but it is lovely it's such a nice material it's so soft and thick and i'm a little bit gutted about that i'm not gonna lie i then got a little bit of color uh this is very bright this is from bershka um and it's this bright pink blazer which everyone i feel like seems to be loving at the moment like bright blazers as dresses um so i got this in a size small um but it's just not quite big enough to be worn as a dress i think the reason why I got it in a small was because there wasn't any larger size because like I said it's really popular. I think it's fully sold out now so um, it's quite hard to get your hands on but if you keep an eye on it you might be able to. Um, but yeah I wanted this as a blazer dress. I feel like I'm not getting my words out very well today. I wanted this as a blazer dress but it's just not big enough unfortunately. But it's got pockets and like these lovely button detailing. Um, I mean with some cycling shorts and stuff I can make it work but it's just not quite what I wanted and then in one of these bags down here I have another bright blazer I've just got to find it. So this one I got from ASOS and I bought this in a six because on the model she was wearing it as a blazer dress so I thought oh like I don't want to size up too much otherwise it's going to be too big however like majorly regretting that now i definitely need this in like a size 12 for it to be a um, dress on me and it's now fully sold out and really really hard to get your hands on 
so I'm not going to be able to have it as a blazer dress, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's this beautiful orange colour. I personally wouldn't wear this as a blazer because it's just like, if I'm going to wear this, I want this to be the only thing I'm wearing. Do you know what I mean? So I want to wear it as a dress. Um, but yeah, it's from ASOS, like ASOS own brand. I don't feel like I'm holding it up very well. You'll see it a bit better in the triangle clips. You are going to look like a tangerine wearing this, but I kind of don't really have an issue with that because it is so bright and summery and I just feel like these are so on trend at the moment. I think this was like £55, but I've since seen they've put it in the sale. But I don't understand why they put it in the sale because one, it's a popular piece, so people will buy it whatever price. And two, it's really hard to get your hands on anyway, so why put it in the sale? Do you know what I mean? Bit odd. Um, yeah. If you want this as a blazer dress, size up. I'm, I've learned that from the pink blazer and the orange blazer that I need to size up. Carrying on with some more colour, I got some um, sliders from Ego. Now I have, you know like the Yeezy, let me show you, let me show you them. So these are basically like some Yeezy slider dupes and I already have a nude pair from Pretty Little Thing which I love. And then I saw on Pretty Little Thing they had a pink pair but they weren't selling them. They'd like styled them with an outfit and I've been waiting for them to release them and they haven't. So I saw these ones on ASOS but I didn't think they were going to be the right colour. I wanted like a baby pink but now looking at these i absolutely love them so they're like a bubblegum pink like i said they're like the yeezy slides they are so ugly they are such an ugly shoe but i love them um and yeah your feet just sort of go in them there they're like um kind of got an edge to them and then they've got like a ridged bottom and i actually love the color of these like chuck these on with this t-shirt dress adds a little pop of color I was kind of just obsessed. I don't think they were too expensive either. And I know that Ego do a few colours. Also, Pretty Little Thing have a few colours as well. Um, so I'll link them down below because they're so on trend at the moment. And they are actually so comfy and so easy to chuck on. And I do kind of love the pink. I might have to keep them because I'm a little bit obsessed. Talking of t-shirt dresses, I then picked up a few off ASOS. So this one's from Juicy Couture, which is never really a brand that I've shopped at. It's not really my sort of style. But I saw this t-shirt and I was like, actually that sized up could look really nice. So I got this in a size large. For reference, I'm a size six and I'm five foot five. Um, so I sized up in this to wear it as a t-shirt dress. So it's just a black t-shirt. And then it has this like diamante print on the front, which just um, has like a G a j and a c saying juicy couture on it and it's like um like a multicolored sort of sequin um i don't know if oh, the tag is in the way don't know how you can see that and then on the back at the bottom it has a sequin detailing again which says freshly blah, 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 freshly squeezed since 1995 and i actually really like this detailing on the back like i loved how it's on the bottom do you know, i just i love that um so yeah not really me with all, all the bling but i actually kind of liked it um and yeah i think this actually holding up to me like so i think this should actually work as a t-shirt dress like a nice boxy fit which i'm really pleased about um so i got that and then i actually bought something else from juicy couture which like i said is not very me but I kind of liked it. So this is the sweatshirt, which I haven't looked at yet, obviously. Um, but I've looked at the joggers. So you buy them separately. They were fairly expensive, but it is Juicy Couture. Um, so we have, again, it's black. This little cropped hoodie. Why are all the tags getting in my way today? Um, so it just says Juicy Couture Sport here. This is slightly 3D and it's like a silvery grey colour. And this is cropped. It's got like a little um, toggle detailing here so you can pull it in there so it looks like that and then on the back it says juicy on it again in the same um kind of silvery 3d type of thing and then the joggers are matching let me oh, didn't pick them up then i uh, also got an itch on my eye let me just itch that so these are the joggers again black um they just kind of go straight down like so say so juicy couture again on the side and then on the back here a little juicy couture sport just slightly on the bum detail below the waist, which I think looks really nice. Again, they've got like a little drawstring around them, like the um, jumper does. They've got pockets. These I got in a size small, the joggers. And then the jumper I bought in a size small as well. So both of these are in a small. I just thought it's quite a nice, cute little set. And I like the crop with that. I like the writing on the back. Um, kind of juicy couture, but not too over the top juicy couture with like the velour and the sequins. So a little bit more me, if that makes sense. I also need a drink because I'm talking at like 50 miles per hour. I also really want some of this cake jar, but I've um, realised I don't have a spoon with me. But like, look how cute that is. Um, finally managed to get my hands on it. Four pounds, slight rip off. But oh my god, look at that. It's got like little, se not sequins. Um, 
chocolate chips and a little Colin Cass pillow cake. I'm kind of obsessed with that. I might have to eat this after though because otherwise I'll get chocolate around my mouth. But I really want it. I'm kind of hungry, but let's get on. So next up, another t-shirt dress. I'm just going to get this one out of the way. Again, this is a t-shirt, but I sized up in it to wear it as a t-shirt dress. It's from Ralph It's from Ralph Lauren. It's this blue colour, which isn't very me because we all know I love a neutral. But I actually really like this kind of like light... I was going to say light pink. It's not light pink. Um, dusty blue, pale blue, light blue. If I was going to a gender reveal party, I'd quite like to wear this. Like a casual one. Um, this I got in an extra large. And it works perfectly because it is like the perfect size for a t-shirt dress. Um, this is from Ralph Lauren, but they only sell it on ASOS. Like it's exclusive. It was like Ralph Lauren X ASOS type thing. Um, so yeah, little blue stitching their logo. And then the back is what I loved. Just like the um, classic Ralph Lauren logo, but on the back. Because I just love t-shirt dresses with things on the back. I don't know why. This was very expensive. I think it was literally like £65. However, because I'm wearing it as a dress, it's kind of like I just need some shoes on with this and I can go. So it's kind of a full outfit, which makes it a bit more justifiable, if you know what I mean. Still very expensive though. Like, but yeah, it's Ralph Lauren. What do we expect? Just realised I'm missing some stuff. Like, I don't know where that parcel is. So I'm going to go find that. I'll slightly move and then I'm going to come back because... I've got even more stuff to show you than I realised. BRB. How did I forget that I had a whole other box of stuff? Like, I thought I had a lot of stuff with those bags. I've got a whole box as well to show you. I knew I was missing something because I thought about it. Forgot I had all this other stuff as well. That is a slight problem. Um, it's going to be an even longer and bigger ASOS haul because we have a whole box of stuff to get through that I forgot about. <laughs> okay, we're going to go through the box a little bit now because I feel a little bit bad that I forgot about it. Um, I saw this on ASOS, which is so not me. It doesn't also fit me. I've tried it on and it's absolutely tiny. But I just really, like, I thought it was so cute that I had to get it to show you. It's this little bucket hat from Skinny Dip and it's fluffy and blue as you can see. But it's part of their, like, is it Care Bears? Is that the word? Yeah, Care Bears collection. So it's got these little ears and this little face on it. And I just thought that was the cutest thing ever. Um, I think it was one size because on here there's no size on it. But it's absolutely tiny and doesn't fit my head. But I just thought this was adorable. Um, don't think I'd ever wear it even if... No, in fact, I know I wouldn't wear it even if it did, even if this did fit me. But I just thought it was really cute. And then I kind of went a little bit crazy on Care Bear things on ASOS. Um, this one wasn't from Skinny Dip. This was an ASOS one. And I hate the colour. It's just not very me at all. But it's this big um, jumper sort of dress thing. It says Care Bears on the front. But I love the back of this. Like, it's got a little Care Bear on it. And I thought some people would love this. I know a lot of people are really... Like, there's certain people on Instagram and stuff that have this style of clothing that's really bright. Definitely not me. I'm very much neutral. But I thought this is, like, right up their street. I thought some people might like it, so I'd show it. If they did this in, like, a baby pink or something, I'd love it. It's just the colour. But I absolutely love the design on the back. And then lastly, for Care Bears, don't know why I ordered so much from there, but I did. Again, this was from Skinny Dip, and I just thought this was adorable. Um, it's just this little makeup bag, which is, like, holographic. And then it's got little Care Bears on it, and it's quite a nice big shape as well. That's kind of the design of it and I just thought it was really cute so yeah I went a little bit Care Bear crazy for some unknown reason but that's that I'm gonna move the box out of the way now there's still some stuff in there which I'll go through in a minute but I just I just need it out of my way so next up this is what reminded me about the box because I was wondering where this little cupboard was and then I remembered I had loads of other stuff um I got this little set which is from ASOS again like from their own brand um, and it's like this little jumper and short set, which I just thought was really, really sweet. I really liked it. So um, it's grey. I got this in a size 8, this jumper. Um, and it says Weekend Collective on it. It looks like that. Um, very sort of American university jumper sort of style font sort of thing. Really simple like grey crew neck sweatshirt. And then I also bought some matching shorts to go with it. So the shorts, again, are grey. I got these in a size... Um, six. I don't know if I've said my re references yet. I'm five foot five and I'm size six. Don't know if I've said that. Um, and they just look like they're simple, like jogger short type things. And they say weekend collective on the bottom. So I thought together, cute little set. And then I did also buy this um, bag because I'm pretty sure the model was wearing this with the set. But I also thought anyway that it would work really well. Um, so it's like this slightly toweling material, which, like I've said, is really on trend at the moment. Tote bag, and it's quite big. It's got these big thick blue rope sort of handles which I love I love tote bags with really thick handles for some reason 
um, and it just says on it well-being and it's again quite a sporty sort of style thought it would tie in really well with the little sporty sort of cohort and the font is quite similar and I really like the shape of this bag like even with nothing in it I feel like it hangs really nicely and it's a nice big bag for your shopping or for your gym wear or something I think it's really cute and again this was ASOS own brand I think it was cheap as well can't remember the price of everything but like I said it'll all be linked down below anyway I then also got another tote bag again from ASOS own brand normally when I shop on ASOS I feel like I get things that aren't actually from ASOS if you know what I mean like their own brand stuff but this time I found quite a few bits that I like or also, if you can hear any noise, my mum's in the loft, like, which is just above me. So, um, just ignore that. I apologise. Um, so this is just, again, like a simple classic tote bag, like a canvas one. Um, and I just like the design on it. It just says, take easy, just chill, enjoy summer days. With a little crocodile on a sun lounger by a palm tree, the sun shining. And then on the other side, it says collusion, because it's from a collusion. It's quite a nice big bag, actually. And again, quite thick handles. Um, I thought this, right, it's not really, there we go, fitting on. I feel like these are so easy to just tuck on. Good for your shopping if you're like a uni student or something. Or even if you're just like popping and get a few groceries or clothes shopping, I don't know. Um, I just thought it's quite cute. Also, actually, this is a beach bag, really good size, um, and like a nice summery sort of beachy design on the front. I think that ties in quite nicely. I then ordered another little like two-piece tracksuit type thing, and this one's from Nike, and it says like magenta pink sort of colour. And I thought that so many people were gonna love this, so I just had to get it to show you all. And I know that these like Nike tracksuit sets are really popular at the moment, like all these different colours. So yeah, I got this one to show you. I got the jump in a size small. Um, and it just looks like this. It's a loose fit baggy sort of jumper with just a little Nike tick on it and a little thick band here. Quite a boxy fit, which is right up my street. I absolutely love that. I think, I don't actually know how much this was. It was kind of expensive, but normal sort of prices for a Nike sort of tracksuit. And then the joggers look like this. Again, they're a loose fit and I got these in a size small. These do look quite big though. Um, they might fit nicely, but be baggy or they might be a little bit too big on me I don't know because there's no drawstring like they're an elasticated waistband but there's no drawstring to make them tighter so I'm not too sure if they'll fit me but we shall see they've got pockets and they go just sort of straight down like this with elasticated bottoms um but yeah I don't think these are going to fit me unfortunately but we shall see but a little Nike tracksuit bit of colour blah, blah, blah. does my mind literally went blank then um bit of colour for the summer love it Talking of colour for the summer, I ordered these heels, which I'm actually kind of obsessed with. Um, these kind of are giving me like girl guide brownie scout sort of vibes because they've got these like knots on them. Um, but I actually thought these were really interesting. They're a little bit different, a bit more unique, but I love the colours. We've got bright pink, bright yellow and bright orange on them. And then, like I said, they kind of tie up on the front. And I feel like these are so on trend at the moment. Heels like this that are really colourful, a little bit more interesting to a simple court heel are really on trend. I feel like I could see Chinza in these from Sophia and Chinzia. Um, they're a little heel as well, like they're not too tall. And then they do have all this, which is a little bit caught up at the moment. Okay, there we go. They've got all this like pink rope here as well, which ties up round your ankles, which I'm personally not actually a fan of. I almost prefer them just like that like i actually prefer the heel without all the rope detailing but you to be honest you can probably like remove that if you were really that like desperate for them but i think these are fairly pricey actually um not too bad but then also like if you're going to cut this bit off like do you really want to spend that much money in case you botch it do you know what i mean but yeah i absolutely love the color of them they're like a little square toe and like i said for the summer just tuck these on with a really neutral or simple outfit and they'll just add a pop of color like i actually love them like they're a little bit probably a marmite piece especially with this bit but this bit on its own, I love. Going back to Nike, I ordered some trainers, which I really don't need because in the last ASOS haul, I literally bought myself a new pair of trainers. Um, but I really like these. They're like a pink colour. However, when they turn up in person, they just weren't quite doing it for me. I feel like they look a lot nicer on the pictures online. Um, so they're these like pink sort of shoes, but in person, the pink's a little bit more dull. Like they're kind of pink, purple and grey mix on here. But I feel like they need less grey and more pink because they just look a little bit... I don't know, like a little bit dusty and like murky. But I really like the bottom of them because they're like the clear bubble sort of heel. The back is like, well, a kind of along the back and along the sides. We've got this pink, blue and white sort of marble print, which I think looks really nice. Um, pink here, this kind of interesting like pink thing here. I don't really know like what that is and like these laces. Bit of multicolour on here. That's the marble bit I was talking about. Like it is quite a lot of pink and nice colour going on. Um, however, they're not as pink as I wanted them to be, if you know what I mean. I think they need to be a bit pink to be nicer. Um, but I just thought I'd show them because I thought some people would really like these. Um, I like the bottom as well, although you wouldn't see that obviously when you're wearing them. Like this design I think is quite interesting. Um, 
but yeah I thought for running they'd look quite comfy and stuff but I don't need them and they're also not the colour that I wanted but some people might like them anyway so I thought I'd show them then in this parcel I'm struggling to get it out actually oh there we go I bought this because I don't normally like things from Rhode Island to be honest Rhode Island's never really somewhere that I've shopped I never go in the stores in like when I'm out shopping and I never really look online there or whatever but I saw this on ASOS and I actually really liked it so if I can get it out of this little bag I can show you it so it's this really big travel sort of weekend overnight sort of bag and um, it's obviously not got anything in it at the moment so it's a little bit hard to see the shape because it needs stuffing out but I'll try and insert a picture of it online so you can see what it looks like but it's kind of giving me retro vibes like the brown detailing and stuff and it's also slightly giving me designer sort of gucci almost vibes so it just says ri on it like river island sort of all over it they do that quite often with their bags i feel like it's very heavy actually just holding this up on its own is incredibly heavy and there's nothing in it so just something to bear in mind um but this is absolutely huge like you'd be able to fit so much in here perfect for a weekend away like i said you've got some pockets on the side here um and then like on both sides and then you also have the inside which I can find the zip so on the inside it is just absolutely giant you've got a few sort of pockets on the side you've actually got four so that's quite good if you wanted to like put socks in one pants in the other or whatever and then there is also this long brown sort of shiny strap that you can attach you can wear it over your shoulders I just think this looks really expensive it was 55 pounds so it's not cheap but then again it is a huge bag you'd probably be able to use it for years and I do think it looks really expensive like I said sort of almost vintage designer sort of thing and I really liked it so I just thought I'd show you that and then I did actually buy a similar bag of mango this was actually off the mango website however ASOS do stock mango on their website so I thought I'd just chuck it in and again if I can open this why am I struggling so much today again this is giving me sort of designer vintage vibes again which is why I thought I'd just show you it so it's this little kind of baguette bag sort of thing um I don't really know it doesn't really say anything on it it's just got this like jacquard sort of print on it which is a little bit subtle it's kind of hard to see but it is there and it's really nice and then it's just got this like sort of brown faux leather detailing around the bottom and the sides and then the strap itself is this brown strap so such a simple little bag but i think this looks really expensive it was only um doesn't have the price tag on here i think this is like 19.99 um so not a lot at all um and let me just have a look on the inside <laughs> okay the inside is pretty basic i think there's a little pocket in it um it's not there's not a, it's not a big bag so there's not a lot to it so it shouldn't be expensive but i do feel like it looks expensive so it's good for the price does that make sense that's what i'm trying to say and then i did actually also buy one more thing from mango which kind of ties in with the sliders that i showed at the start so i'm just gonna i'm gonna add them into the haul why not so these are the sliders i saw these on el darby's story and that's why i got them and i feel like a lot of other people have done that as well um so they look like this so like i said they're kind of similar to the sliders i showed at the start and in fact they're like chunky squishy ones but these ones you could almost wear as slippers like they're a bit more comfortable because they're like this cloth material there they don't have like the edging on them that the other ones do so they are slightly different and i think again these are only 19.99 i did also order a pair of flip-flops they were basically the exact same as these but they didn't put them in my order um but they do also have a flip-flop version is what i'm trying to say and i just thought these are really nice and again i feel like a lot of people bought them when el darby showed them so i thought i'd like show them further and show you in this haul then going back to things i did actually buy off asos because this is an asos haul i got this fiorucci swimsuit because i thought this would look really nice as a bodysuit as well as a swimsuit as well this was quite expensive but they have since put it in the sale so if you're interested it is now in the sale um and it's just like a classic fiorucci print on it i don't actually know if i'm saying that right could be completely butchering that um but it's just got like the little angels on it looks like that and then the back is like this scoop neck sort of material not material it's just like this little scoop neck and this i got in a size extra small um and yeah pretty simple but like i said i thought as a bodysuit this would work really nicely as well as a swimsuit so although it's a little bit more pricey it's kind of versatile you can wear it as a few things and i just quite liked it so i thought i'd get it i'm now just going to quickly go into some bershka things that i got because like i said they stopped bershka on asos um so i thought i could kind of make it work i will also link all this stuff down below as well um and i just thought i'd show you i also absolutely love the way that this is being packaged so this is kind of what it looks like and then you open it up and then all your clothes are just like folded one on top of the one on top of the one on top of the other stacked on top of each other and i just thought that's actually kind of cute like 
I don't know why I like that so much, but I did. I'm just going to pop this down and then I'll, I'm not going to show you everything in here because this video would literally be about 45 minutes long, but I'll just show you a few of my favourite bits. So first up, we have this, which took me a while to work out what it was. Um, it's this ribbed asymmetric dress, which looks absolutely tiny. I don't know if it's showing up on camera as to how small this looks, but I got this in an extra small and it is really, really stretchy. So it will like stretch over and fit. But I quite like it when you hold things up and they look like this because it just shows they're going to be so figure flattering and tight when they're on. Um, but yeah, it's just a simple little asymmetric dress, not much to it. Um, but I know asymmetric is quite on trend at the moment, so I just quite liked it. Really simple, sort of Zara Limitless Contour Collection sort of vibes in a way. And I know Bershka is very similar to Zara, so that's the first little thing. Quick, easy, let's move on. I then bought this waistcoat dress thing because we all know... I love a sleeveless knit and I saw this as a, um, as a dress and I was like, oh my God, that is amazing. They did it in a black as well and a grey, but I went for the creamy colour and I got this in a small just to make it a little bit more oversized. It's got a v-neck. Don't know if it's going to look as nice as I'm hoping it to, but hopefully it will. You could literally just wear this on its own or wear a shirt underneath it or something. And I just loved that it was like a really, really oversized version of some waistcoat sleeveless knits that I have already, but like a dress version. Okay, I have since noticed that the one thing... The main reason why I place this order, the thing is missing, I think. Why is everything missing from my parcels at the moment? I can't see it in here and I will double check. But it was like this really cute crop top to go over a skirt that I've bought and that is the whole reason I place the order and it's not here. Which is slightly frustrating, but anyway, I'm going to have to sort that out after this haul. Um, I then ordered a few pairs of shoes, which have come in these like giant paper bags. Now, let me get it out because it's very noisy. So these I bought and they are not me whatsoever, but I know people are loving them. So I kind of just wanted to get them to try. They kind of remind me of like the type of heels you would wear when you were seven. But they're these like purple chunky heels. These are a dupe of... I want to say Gucci ones, but I can't think what, but I've seen a lot of these on TikTok. People are loving them um, because they're a dupe of some more expensive ones and people just love them. And to be honest, now I'm looking at them, I don't hate them. I feel like if they were styled with the right thing, they could look really nice, but they just remind me of like the 90s or something, even though I wasn't alive then. But you know what I mean? They're kind of like retro y2k sort of style but i know people are loving them so i thought i'd show them and then another pair of shoes from bershka that people seem to be loving are these the sliders which again are similar to the ones i showed at the start these i personally don't like as much but i know quite a few people do i think molly may has them um they're like these kind of ribbed type ones but i don't feel like that's gonna be very comfy when you're wearing them they're not very squishy either so i know a lot of people are loving them but i'm not too sure actually i don't think they're as nice as the other sliders i've shown but anyway i got them and that is it for my little bershka haul and i'm slightly annoyed that i'm missing that item to be honest but let's move on okay panic over i have found the little top i think it must have fallen out the parcel um so it's this little crop top with like this pleated or like twisted front thing and this with like a tight nude ribbed skirt is what i had in mind i thought it looked so cute I'm so glad that i got this because one i couldn't be bothered to have to message bershka about it and two, this is the whole reason why I ordered it, like I said. But I got this in an extra small. They recently put this in the sale. I think this was like eleven ninety nine, And it's just like a cute sort of linen style shirt thing. I feel like it goes with so much. Mum jeans, skirts, trousers, whatever. I'm chuffed to see this. I can't lie. Because I was getting a little bit annoyed then. But I'm, I'm glad I've got it. And then lastly for this ASOS haul, I feel like I should have shown this more towards the start. Because I really like these shorts. And um, I ordered them last time. But then I didn't show them because I didn't think they were that interesting. And then I tried them on after and I really liked them. So I thought I'd reorder them because I really liked them. So they're from Abercrombie and Fitch. Which, what a throwback. Not shopped from there in years. Um, but they're like these, they're a bit creased actually. Um, but they're these nude sort of tailored sort of shorts. And these look really nice with like a white top and a blazer on. I've tried it on already and I really like it. And these I got in an extra small. They were like £49, which is quite expensive. But they do feel like nice, quite nice quality. And like I said, I returned them because I ordered them last time. And then I couldn't stop thinking about them, so I've reordered them. I do really like them and I'm loving shorts like this at the moment, as you can probably tell, because I've shown them in like my past three or four hauls. I've shown shorts like in this sort of style because I'm loving them. Um, I'm actually really out of breath, I'm not gonna lie, from filming this haul and I don't even have my Apple Watch on because actually when I film hauls, it like counts as my fitness on my Apple Watch because I get out of breath because I talk so fast. Like that's kind of bad, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna go now because this has been a very, very long haul. Thank you if you've got to this point and watched this far. Um, yeah, I'll be back with another video soon. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I shall see you at some point soon another one. Bye.